I'm going to do some comparison testing between the Enagic SD501 and the Jupiter Athena. Alright, so I'm just going to get started here. Power on. Come get water 9.5. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some samples and then I'm going to do the testing once I've got all my samples. This is, alright, first sample. I'm just going to get the uh, first level for the Kangen. That's 8.5. Alright, so this is the second level. Now these are going at the fast flow rate. Okay. Alright. So I've got three samples now. I'm going to cycle through again, but now this time I'm slowing down the magic to the uh, you know, kind of a medium flow. So this is the first level, 8.5. Okay. Okay, now I'll get the second level, 9.0, and then Okay, so this is the uh, third level, Kangen 9.5. These are the three drinking levels and two speeds. So I'll go ahead and turn that one off. Alright, next I'm going to get my samples from the Athena. I do not have the volume on, um, but this one is level 1. Okay, now this next one is uh, level 2. Finally, and and by the way, the 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 Kangen nine point five is the equivalent of the Jupiter level three. So they're just different ways of saying the same thing. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and test the ORP first. This is your antioxidant levels, and I've got the probe into uh, Kangen. Um, 8.5 which is the equivalent of level 1 and that's at the fast flow rate okay now that's at the slow flow rate for level 1 okay now that's at the fast flow rate for level 2 and this is the slow flow rate for level 2 and this is the fast flow rate for level 3 and this one is the slow flow rate for level three. Okay, now that's the uh, the various levels of the Kangen, and um, let me just see how high this last one will go. And all right, that's I'm not going to hold that meter in there too long <laughs> it dirties up my meter and spoils the results all right so this is the athena at level one and then this is the athena at level two okay and then this is the athena at level three Okay, um, now one, uh, that's your antioxidant levels. Okay, now one of the, uh, you know, why are there differences here? You can see that the Athena was doing better, uh, even with the Enagic set at the slow flow rate. Why is that? Um, 
the Enagic will sometimes, if I if I do a vinegar wash or I do extra special, you know, citric acid cleaning solution and get it all primed and everything, I will sometimes see really good results from the Enagic, uh, like the Athena, but sometimes I don't see as good results. Now, yesterday I was getting better results from the Enagic than I am today. Uh, I tried to do this testing yesterday, but my battery of my... Um, uh, <laughs> camera had to be charged. So, and somewhere in the cycle, the Enagic will fluctuate more, whereas the Athena has continuous cleaning, and so it doesn't get all that fluctuation. I, I can I can definitely rely more on the Athena's uh, getting the same results all the time. All right, now, just out of curiosity, I want to see these last final two and see what the uh, the pH is of this one's the Athena. Hold on, at the highest level for drinking. Okay, so that's uh, looks like about a, a ten point seven, and. The Enagic um, looks like about a 10.8, and, and those are the two highest levels. So, it, it, it really theoretically, um, your ORP would go up with your pH, and I'm not seeing that happen. Now, the reason why, it's the efficiency of ionization. Let me see if I can... This Athena is going to go higher at all. I'm just going back and forth here to be as thorough as possible. Looks like the Athena is definitely 10.8. That's the high level of the Athena, and the high level of the Enagic is 10.9. Now, theoretically, with the slightly higher outline, it ought to have produced a slightly higher uh, ORP. Um, but I'm just going to take that ORP meter and once more go back and forth between these two. The, um, the Enagics, uh, you know, looking... With all that stirring, you know, you kind of lose some you know, ORP. But, you know, somewhere in, in the neighborhood of three, 400, whereas the Athena is like up, you know, in the definitely above 600, negative 600. So, I can't remember what the numbers were when I originally tested it, but theoretically with the higher pH, the Enagic should have produced the higher antioxidants. Why didn't it? Because uh, the uh, efficiency of ionization is dependent on the platinum being completely free of all calcium. Now, it is impossible to do that with the Enagic, because it doesn't have continuous cleaning. Um, whereas with the Athena, it it has continuous cleaning of the plates. It, it doesn't just clean itself every so many liters. It cleans itself constantly, every 15 seconds, I think. It literally switches polarity of the plates. So <clears throat> this is the very, very most advanced way of keeping those plates free. And platinum is necessary for ionization. It actually catalyzes ionization or speeds it up. And it makes having a continuous flow ionizer, which both of these are, uh, possible. Bef before platinum was, dis was you know, uh, put on the plates, you could not do ionization this way. You would have to do um, what's called uh, uh, just bin, you know, it, it just... I actually I forget what it's called, but it's it's um, it's the kind of ionization where you 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 put your electrodes in and and it percolates for twenty minutes and finally you get ionized water. Well, that was the old style of ionizer, and you can't you can't do this continuous flow without really really clean plates where the 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 platinum is able to touch the water directly. To catalyze that electrolysis. Okay, well I think I repeated that enough times. Hopefully you got it. 
And um, that that's actually giving you the, the reason why the Athena is able to do better than the Enagic. Thank you.